in front of friends and family, their happily family becomes complete. Love. It's a central theme to every book we read or every movie we watch. The topic of nearly every song written and the subject of every young woman's Facebook status. <laughs> We're all exposed to it at a very young age. We can all recall the details. Cinderella puts on a glass slipper and falls in love with a prince. A princess's love for a friendly frog turns into a marriage to a handsome prince. And most apt today, the Disney tale of a young woman gradually falling in love with a hairy beast. <laughs> Much like these tales, Nick and Natalie's match seemed an unlikely pair. Their first chance encounter came on Natalie was busy daydreaming that surfer named Thor. <laughs> and Nick was on the arm of another woman. But it blossomed into something else entirely. That same night, they couldn't stop talking to one another. And it's been the same way ever since. I asked Nick and Natalie about each other, why they're a good match. Natalie replied, and this really underscored my point, Nick was the opposite of any guy I had ever been in. Or thought I would want to marry. Harry, Italian, and a brick native. That said, none of that mattered. I could not stop myself from falling in love with her. And what does Nick love about Natalie? She started eating me again. <laughs> She always puts Cole and me before herself. When you really talk to them, it's a pattern. Nick and Natalie accept each other's faults, know each other's weaknesses, and recognize the traits in one another that make them up to life's greatest challenge, living together forever in love and harmony. It wasn't a kiss or a glass sip, slipper that got us here, and Nick certainly isn't any less hairy. <laughs> is just as great as the ones we grew up with and deserves a happy ending. Our first treatment, and you can probably guess who chose it, is a poem by Bob Marley. He's not perfect. Dan and Antonio, will you give us a song? Marriage, we love her, comfort her, honor her, 
and keep her in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you will show us. And you, Natalie, take this man to live together in marriage. Do you love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, so long as you both each other? Thank you. Mad the rings in this. These rings are symbols of eternity and the unbroken circle of love. Nick, you may also realize her rings are worth a little bit more than yours. That's not really something symbolic, but it's something you just have to get used to. <laughs> so today, you have chosen to exchange rings as a sign of your love for each other and as a seal of the promises you make this day. We ask that God bless these rings and this union of souls. Nick, as you place this precious ring, precious ring on Natalie's finger, repeat after me. Just as this ring encircles your finger, just as this ring encircles your finger, so does my love encircle your heart. So does my love encircle your heart. May this ring forever be a symbol. May this ring forever be a symbol of my growing love for you. Of my growing love for you. With this ring, I do what? With this ring. Natalie, as you place this slightly less precious ring on your finger, repeat after me. Just as this ring encircles your finger, so does my love encircle your heart. May this ring forever be a symbol of my growing love for you. With this ring, I do well. You can clap. So congratulations, and I want to revisit when Nick and Natalie first met. That night, Nick was really trying to get into the line. A gesture that Natalie insists to this day was a way for Nick to try and seem a little bit more refined. <laughs> she might be right, but now to commemorate your first moments together and as a further symbol of your love, we begin a wine ceremony. <laughs> My better self, my good angel, 
I'm bound to you with a strong attachment. I think you good, gifted, lovely. A fervent, a solemn passion is conceived in my heart. It leans to you, draws you to my center in springs of life, wraps my existence about you, and kindling in pure, powerful flame, uses you and me in love. Thank you, Chris. Your friends and family are here today because they want to see you off on your journey together, and because it's open bar. <laughs> but really, all of us couldn't be happier for you. We wish you the best and know your love is one that will last. After all, it was Nick who said that I knew it was meant to be since she changed her eating habits for me. <laughs> but more than anything, you recognize the practicality and commitment that comes with love. Natalie said it a little better than Nick. He doesn't always get me, but he tries to do his best to be the man he knows I need. Let's face it, no guy actually understands women, but the best ones at least fake it. <laughs> Natalie continued, I love all of him, even the parts that make me want to him sometimes. <laughs> and truth be told, if Natalie still ate, you, uh, still ate tofu instead of T-bones, Nick would be hopelessly in love too. But now, all this talk about food is getting fat boy hungry. So let's make official who we already knew you are, one loving family. Nick and Natalie, may your love never fade, may you never take each other for granted, and when you are old, may you be found, hand in hand, still thankful for each other. Never forget to treat each other with kind, tenderness, kindness, and respect. And remind yourselves often of what drew you together in the first place. Nick and Natalie, you have consented together in holy matrimony before God, have pledged your vows to each other, and have exchanged rings as a token of your love and commitment to each other. In accordance with the laws of the great state of New Jersey, with the authority vested in yours truly, and with great joy, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. It's love.